made it to Poland just in time for a rainstorm. It's raining. <laughs> have one full day in Poland and so far we had the most trouble ever so we had to go to Budapest and then to Poland so we got off the bus in Budapest and Hayden left his wallet in the bus and then they can't do anything to help us because they are very unhelpful and the bus left instantly so we don't have any of our cards or our money but we've thankfully been able to like get in contact with Westpac and add one of our cards on but then the cards got locked so we had we weren't able to pay last night for dinner but we had some cash left around so we quickly had to figure it out and we managed to pay for dinner but then we had to call Westpac again this morning and get it unlocked but turns out it wasn't Westpac's problem it was Apple Pay's problem so we've been on the phone for like an hour and a half we've had issues with obviously losing Hayden's wallet then we traveled for 12 hours on a train then we got here late at night couldn't pay for the dinner but we ended up being able to oh yeah and then there was a rainstorm and then this morning was with the cards so we're sorted now but I swear if anything else goes wrong oh yummy can you guess who got which? Oh, nom, nom, nom. We found our first gnome. Apparently there's about 600 in the whole city. Are you sure that's the gnome? Gnome? Yes it is, look. Gnome number two. Hello. Bye bye. Gnome number three, he's taking a photo of another gnome. I thought the gnomes were going to be a lot harder to find, but there's so many of them. Sorry, not sorry. This vlog is just going to be about us finding the gnomes. <laughs> Gnome across the street. Two more gnomes. Got a little cool gnome. <laughs> See ya. That was scary. We're going up to the bridge and I was trying to show the lights, but there's scary music happening. It's just a speaker, but it's creepy. We have gone up so many flights of stairs. People have locked a whole bunch of locks to a giant key on this gnome. Bubbles! Hi little fellas! Another gnome has been spotted. I don't know if I already took a video of this one. Music gnome. There's another gnome over here. There's heaps that are really far away that I can't just walk to. There's a whole bunch of gnomes in here, but they're of course souvenirs. Uh oh, they're out of alcohol. Hey there. This guy's protecting the church. quick outfit change because the wind is very windy and my skirt kept blowing up everywhere. 
the wind is very windy. There's a gnome inside the University Museum. I don't think this is a museum. So that's the museum. We went upstairs to the actual university. Such a cute little house or apartment block. That building that I thought was really pretty is actually the museum we're supposed to be going to right now. But our GPS took us the total wrong way so we just did a massive loop through a park instead. But we're here now. If the picture is moving slowly, you need rest. Now what are you gonna do? Oh dear. <laughs> 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 it's confusing, isn't it? Are you having a meeting with your friends? Yes. No, I think you have to do a pose. Are you guys getting hypnotized? <laughs> <laughs> we totally just spent two hours in there. Yeah. <laughs> We very much love Poland and if you ask us why, <laughs> look how perfect the trees are. It's clean everywhere. There's so many cute buildings. Mm -hmm. I thought it was like a university city, like Oxford, because it has similarities um, and similar people. There are a few universities, but it's predominantly a tech city. So that's why it looks like this. is giving his love to this Nomi. I don't miss these. What? Every time we get the lady tag. I was just gonna say that we're off to dinner and these are our house. We're off to dinner. <laughs> There's a chicken and a rooster. A cow, a goat, a duck, a goose, two pigs and a bunny rabbit. It's a whole barnyard. <laughs> It's like a small square of little boutique flower shops.
we've come to this restaurant for dinner and the menu is like a magazine. So it's got bits of information of like history as well as like your food menu. So it's a tad confusing to read. We took like 15 minutes to figure out what we wanted to eat and we've kept this so we can read through it. But it's really cool. It's about um, when they, after the war, when they were not, I don't know how to explain this. <laughs> why we got this. So I don't know how to explain it, I'm just going to read it from the magazine. Basically after the war, how the country was occupied by Germany, it was taken over by Russia and the Polish were not going to come to terms with that state of affairs during that era and they basically conspired against them and that is essentially what this whole magazine explains and the food is what they had at that time here too, so it's traditional food. Our day in Poland is done in, how do you say it? Was, <laughs> uh, was, I think it's called uh, Brots, Brotswa. Well, Brotswa. I, I really liked the, this city. It was the nicest one we've been to so far, I think. Yeah, it's very pretty. The temperature is very nice too, so that's a bonus. And now we go to bed. See you in Berlin. Bye. Off we does Oh, and here are my lollies. Bye. <laughs> Final gnome for the vlog. Thank you.